what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel tapping in with you guys real quick for a quick small little video on the yamaha the vino all right i made up my mind on the color guys i decided to give it my poor man's candy that's a uh silver base it's chrysler paint you guys seen me do this in the video with the uh vip the purple and gray one see this is what i use uh chrysler it's chrysler silver and i use the uh metal cast and that's the translucent paint it's my version of poor man's candy now i got the full board over here guys i'm going to pretty much put it back to the same color it's you know kind of close to the color that it was that almond looking color but yeah i just decided to go ahead and uh, put some of that plastic uh bonder in there and fill in some of the cracks the scratches in there because it was scratched up really bad as you can see i went ahead and filled them in and sanded them all down I had to do both sides this side was worse so yeah guys i'm going ahead and uh just spray these up now i don't i went to like several auto zones and they did not have this silver here nor o'reilly's or advanced auto parts but i found this ford color and uh it's not metallic-y as the chrysler but i'm going to do the inside with it so you can see uh i went ahead and i uh, put the plastic bonder over the cracks sand them down a little bit i'm not going for perfection on this one guys this is just the old leg shield when i find a new one i'm buying it and swapping it out so we're going to go ahead and spray our silver base on the inside and then we're going to come back over it with the uh translucent red the, the metal cast all right so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this guys and i'll let you see the results my bad guys i forgot i was recording the video <laughs> i was gonna cut you guys back in and show you the silver base and <laughs> to show you how horrible that crack looks on the inside i didn't put nearly as much effort as i did on the front side but yeah that's the silver base guys that's uh it's ford paint well wherever the ford paint is that's just the ford paint like i say i usually use the uh chrysler paint because it's more metallic-y if metallic -y is a word but uh, now i said the front wasn't gonna be perfect and it's not but you gotta admit it does look good you know so all right guys we're just gonna go ahead and just i've been putting on the uh, metal cast the iodized red and uh it's basically what you want to do man is uh get your little tack coat let that dry come back we gotta keep your nozzle clean man because see it's starting to spit on me so i keep a rag in my hand and wipe the nozzle off when it starts that i mean it's no real big deal because uh once you put more and more layers on those little spittles they kind of disappear but yeah guys my bad i forgot i was recording the video but now i am going to kind of highlight this thing a little bit this is the uh, oil filler door i painted that the tan color that i'm painting the uh the floorboard which is pretty much the basic uh stock color and i got one layer on on the floorboard it's looking pretty good i mean it's if you can see from the inside to the outside i mean it's really close on color so it's probably about time for another coat on this bad boy yep and you can see on the side there man the scratches look pretty good they filled in pretty nicely not perfect but still looks good yep so i'm just gonna go around here man and uh finish off this paint and we're gonna start assembling this bad boy back together and you can guys can see what it looks like and we can get on to the next project when this thing is done all right i'll cut you guys back in
Well, guys, the bike is finished. She's all back together now. Looking good and classy. I decided to go with the red and the tan, you know, because uh, just to give it that old classic look, you know. It was brown and tan to begin with, if you guys remember, but there it is in all its glory. Check it out. Went ahead and did a little two-tone on it with the gas, the uh, the old oil door that we don't use. A little two-tone there. Now, she is smoking worse than she did uh, a couple days ago because I let it sit for a while. I'm noticing every time I just let it sit and then start it back up, it smokes like the devil. Like I said, I think we're still burning some of that oil off inside the case, but like I say, guys, you can see where I did the... Uh, the body work check out that metal flake in the paint and that little spot right there is why I dripped some silver when I was uh, on it while I was spraying a different panel but we ain't worried about it I'm gonna call it a beauty mark look at that metal flake oh yeah now I know these guys noticing the front end is different now I had a Swin knockoff Metropolitan bike it was a knockoff Chinese knockoff but a Swin brand and uh, I was looking at land on the ground and I said, hey, I think that piece will fit. So I swapped it out, guys. It's chrome. So and remember the uh, signal lights had the little uh, ends with well, the little covers like these over here. So I guess it was like an option that you could have the signal lights here or in the bar style that was in the front. That's kind of like in the back. You could have these in the front or well, had these in the front. And I guess you can pull these plugs out like I did in the front and put these on the back too. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it this way in the back because it's more visible. But check guys. So, these came off a of old Schwinn Chinese knockoff Metropolitan. So, I don't know what to call this thing because now it kind of looks like a Metropolitan. But, it's a Yamaha. So, I'm thinking I'm probably not going to put the badges back on. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I like it. Now, like I say, got on the inside on that crack. Yep, I didn't, uh, I really wasn't worried about it. You can still see it, you know. And um, when I put the plastic bonder on there, I didn't prime over it, and it's kind of bled back through the paint, but eh, it's all right. But guys, I mean, everything is working right now. You see my fuel gauge is working. The signals work. Yeah, I thought the flash was bad, but I played with it a little bit and it came back to light. The tail light works and the brake light. Both signals on both sides work. Well, they were working. There it goes. Still going to have to play with it a little bit. I guess it's been sitting for a while, so. Yeah, oh, now look at it. I want to show out on camera. <laughs> I got to say, guys, it's going to take some playing with it. I think this, I'm thinking my issue is not the flashes inside of here. So, probably just got to pull it out, clean up the contacts, make everything right. But, there it is, guys. It's all done. And, uh, truthfully, I'm glad. I'm ready to get to the next project. This is a keeper, so i kind of like to get my personal projects up done and out the way real quick so i can get back to the money all right guys thanks for watching please like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one